this episode of BBC Earth, we'll be taking a look at the life of the olive farmer. This olive farmer's name is Stupid Dumphead. Stupid Dumphead was asked about his thoughts on olive farming. Here's what he said. Apparently, Mr. Dumphead totally lost his shit due to the extreme torture involved when dealing with the labs and making olive oil as well as the relatively insignificant payoff for the effort. We pressed him further. It's tedious. It's boring. It sucks like a mother cow. And you can't hire any helpers. One day, we were scheduled to meet Stupid Dumhead in the orchard, but we found him on this bridge instead. At first it seemed he was performing some sort of maintenance on his olive farming equipment. But it quickly became clear he had finally lost his mind. One is none and two is three and that's water under the bridge and there's no use crying over spilled milk. Sometimes you can just go down the left side then when you get to where the big red barn used to be consider the red pill. You should stop and smell the big sh** are fucking you totally you wish you laid on the little the film crew and I watched in disbelief. Mr. Dump had attempted to destroy thousands of dollars worth of equipment. On voyage, you damn stinking lousy piece of shit. Come to paper, your next, the stupid little perverted sex fiend. I'm circles around you logically. Dum dee dum dum, scoop a dee doo 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 doo, skippity puppy pants. Do 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 skippity puppy pants. Snap me a me the bitch slayer noise. Bye bye, you sad excuse for a piece of machinery. Next victim. Without a doubt, the must, 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 dumbest sprayer in existence, and now you must die. Oh! No, you think you're well, just again, I'll, I'll not stop. Ever, not, even after I'm dead. You little stupid little stinking lousy sad sucking poop squirting dipstick of a mother loving donkey washing stink What? What the? I think you can win. And you and I have more money and I'm better looking. You cannot. You know. Strangers in the night. Changing cloth in. Sub a do bay do 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 bay. Sip diddle flap doodle skippity ice cream I Scenery screams for ice cream. That's uh, like that I told you I would win when he little any boy. Good riddance to uh, spray the bottom of the river. Then before we knew what was happening, Stupid Dump had attempted to join his machinery at the bottom of the river. But it was not to be Mr. Dumphead found that he could walk on water. He was so overcome with confusion and anger that he decided to take things to the next level. Okay. That's it, see? Us, we're pretty much playing for keeps now. Time to open up a can of the best on these fucking lives. Oh, man. It burns way down there, deep inside of me, where bad things creep around and get in my head and in my pants. Crap sticks on an asphalt shingle. Oh, I tell you what. I'm about to take care of some serious business. I hear. The poop and pee get caught in the pot. The olive oil gets as thick as snot. I'm a good little boy. I acid your grandma's bunions and gutters. I lick her belly button clean. Oh, they did get them. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, I'm coming for you, Skippity Doo Doo. I think I have to poop. Oh, I know that you want. Here's Johnny. Soap in the legs. Always whispering sweet nothings in my urine in my pants. I hope you brought a snorkel. Well, butter my bacon and call me a Krispy Kreme donut. I think I'll go plant some sunflowers, flowers, sunflowers. No sunflowers. Plant some grapes. But first, oh, a little tea bag action. You cheesy loving second hand electric donkey bottom bitters. This is extremely sad, and unfortunately the case of Mr. Dumbhead is far from an isolated incident. We thought it was our responsibility to probe further. We had a chance to consult several prominent experts regarding this growing pandemic. Well, you need to take into account that these farmers are complete and absolute idiots. I mean, that's the only possible explanation for an individual who wants to do this type of farming. Things usually go relatively well at first, but it goes to hell when the Olives start talking. How, 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 how? You need to understand that Olives cause cancer. Farming equipment was created by Jewish space aliens. And if you live on the same continent as a farm, your property value is cut in half. Farm's got a way of sorting the wheat from the chaff. Here is another olive farmer. His name is Arnold Duhol. Mr. Duhol, believe or not, is looking for a place to hide his olive sprayer. He has found that it cannot be destroyed and believes that it must be hidden from mankind forever. Mr. Duhol has an intelligence quotient of 165. Why don't we eavesdrop a bit? The production of olive oil is a mystery. Unlike runs where teams of pickers or large machines bring in the vintage, the picking of all eyes is an inconspicuous operation. Pruning is the same. Vines are transformed from a tangled mass of twigs to neat curved rows of almost identical vines. One rarest is the law of pruner. And work, perhaps there is a ladder prop. Oh, one moment, please. Should I put it in here? In fact, the classical of groove is the result of care and attention. For over many years, we will have trees in Umbria and Tuscany, so not by any stretch of imagination. I got a thing I got to do here. There are literally billions, billions of ways to dispose of farming equipment. Destroying your equipment in private is one thing, but often these helpers take a more dangerous turn. These two live farmers are figuring out what to do with the equipment they share. Just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. I got a pretty good dang old idea what's going on. I tell you what, man, it'll... So help me God, I'll tear you a new one bigger than the Grand Canyon. I'll tell you what you do, you just take them dang old spark plugs out in that little hole, you just put a little oil around there, just like Bobby Hunter said, it's like it'd go boom, boom, just like that. Okay, that does it. I have had it with you. Now, do you have somewhere to be? Because I'd like to know what direction I should kick your ass in. You know, I've been thinking about y'all and y'all dang old bottom and all what's gonna get moving again. I think y'all ought to go jogging and swimming in water bunch, man. They're gonna be bad having you pooping just like you used to, man. I, I know it's gonna work. Now, you listen to me. <laughs> man. Yo, man, call Dr. Scholes, man, 911. Y'all look like a dang old hard car ride right with that. Do you know brand. what a hammer is? That's what I want a damned hammer. You're making a mockery of the breakdown lane. Man, 
Ashes to ashes, man. It's that dang old ashes to ashes. Our final subject would only be in our documentary if we agreed to address him as Professor Poopy Pants. He too had gone insane. In fact, every other farmer we talked to had completely gone batshit crazy. Don't hatch your chickens before you count them and don't put all your baskets in wanting. And those who help themselves help God. And waiting comes from good things. And honesty is the best. Well, I see it hope for worst and pray for the best. And if you play with burns, you will get fired. And if you want something done for yourself, you have to do it right. And power is knowledge. And the white land is a man. And like feather, like sunshine. And the tree doesn't fall far from a cantaloupe. And the other side is greener than grass. And that's where the worm gets the early bird. And the squeaky grease gets the wheel. And there's no home like places. And you can let a horse to fire. But if there's water, you can't make the aforementioned horse drink smock. And traffic can be murder. And murder can also be murder. And don't feed any ants that bite you. The godliness is next to cleanliness. And the bull favors the fortunate. So don't put up to date what can wait until tomorrow. Ooh. And the boulder is in the eye of the beautiful. The choosers can't pick to watch a boiling pot. And a single step begins with a thousand miles. And thousands of words about pictures. And obsessors make the farts grow stronger. And absence makes the hurt get diabetes. And fox make birds stick together. And covering a book won't make it a judge. And if it ain't fixed, don't break it and beat them if you can't join them. Because like if they say you have some sort of mental illness or something. And perhaps most significantly, Payback's a bitch. No, wait, was it Karma that's the bitch? Either way, I'm Professor Boopy Pants. And I declare you unfit for human consumption. And I declare a new tongue tongue from the trunk by trunk function. Why won't you get out of my life? A new tongue tongue from the trunk by trunk function. There you go! That's better. Well, that was somewhat anticlimactic. Who oh, will never get the look horse in the mouth? I guess. Spool me booty pop de poo me do. And of course, some farmers choose to dispose of their equipment in a different way. Well, we hope our documentary was informative, and we leave you with this final thought. Ollie farming sucks big time. Ollie farming sucks big time. Ollie farming sucks Ollie big time. Ollie farming sucks big time.